Shall we dive into the trends? Welcome back everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are diving into quarter two rental and vacancy trends within Denver. So let's just slide right in. We are gonna make this quick, short, and educational so you can just get on with your day, go back to your rental, go buy another rental. Soon we send me an email if you wanna buy a rental. At the end of quarter two of 2021, there were exactly 2,495 new units that were reported. Obviously, this is not a massive increase considering Colorado gets thousands of people moving here every year, but we're trying. The vacancy rates in Denver are at an incredible 3.7%, which is pretty low, almost 2% lower than last quarter, which is a massive drop. Pretty low numbers here, to be honest. There's not a lot of rental construction that's happening, which actually really explains why there's such low uh, vacancy rates. However, I will mention that this is a pretty big leap, especially from last quarter. So if you're a landlord, this is pretty good news for you. If you're a renter, it just means that there's a lot more competition actually out there right now. Usually we see the vacancy rates drop seasonally, you know, just as any other trends but this is a pretty pretty massive drop and this is a lot better than usual the average rent right now in denver is going to be a thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars just over a hundred dollars more than it was last quarter if we take a look at the chart here we will see that the blue line represents actually the vacancy percentage while the green bar is going to represent the average rate obviously as vacancy decreases the rent is going to increase kind of a classic case of supply and demand here. There's not too many options people have, so unfortunately they're just kind of taking what they can get. Taking a look at the county overview, we actually see Denver is the second most vacant county in the Denver metro area, which is pretty interesting. Adam County takes the win for most vacant, just 0.1% over Denver. However, it is important to notice that Boulder and Broomfield actually have the highest rents. Um, in the Denver metro area. Rental growth and vacancy rents, just as real estate trends move in variations, but this is a pretty high increase, um, a lot better than it, than usual. We have absorbed 10,300 units for this quarter, which obviously is a lot faster than the new rental construction, which also will then explain, again, the massive drop in vacancies for this quarter. And that's it. That's your quick rundown for quarter two's vacancy trends. If you want a full copy of this trends packet, shoot me an email, info at brokerguyan.com and I'll be sure to send this your way. As I mentioned, my name is Broker Guyan, associate broker here in Denver, Colorado, here to help you with any and all of your real estate needs anywhere in the U.S. Be sure to check out BrokerGuyan.com for more info. And until then, I will be back next Wednesday for another episode. Stay tuned. I hope you're all doing amazing. Bye.